What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush. Let's talk Jets. Hope everybody's doing excellent. Super Bowl is around the corner, which means, which means free agency follows it, which will be exciting as the Jets look to be big players in free agency as they look to upgrade their free uh, their offense significantly. So in terms of playmakers, you know, as fans, we all everybody's saying the same names and you get excited about it. But then you got to try to figure out what's realistic and what can actually happen for the Jets. And will you be OK with it? So obviously the biggest name out there is going to be T. Higgins, assuming he's not franchise tagged. The Bengals got a lot of money allocated to, on, on offense. Can they afford it to keep him? So if they don't franchise tag him, he goes to the open market. Then you're looking at a monster deal, man. And I'm not sure if the Jets, you got to offer probably, what, four years, $80 million or whatever it is. I'm not sure the Jets will offer that. Secondly, I'm not sure if T. Higgins will actually accept it here in with the Jets where you have the uncertainty of Aaron Rodgers, the uncertainty around the head coach, playing for Hackett. I'm not so sure it's going to happen. So you say, just in theory, follow my, my little plan here. Say in theory, T. Higgins goes elsewhere. T. Higgins. Uh, I think for, for assumptions, I'm going to say Mike Evans goes back to the Bucks. He retires a Buccaneer for life. Next after that, you have Michael Pittman with the Colts. He was 26 years old, had a monster year there. Young guy in the rise. You know, for a team that's rebuilding and tried to grow and going forward, I don't see why they wouldn't keep him. And if he hits the open market, I think, again, it would be a feeding frenzy. And you wonder where, where how aggressive will the Jets be at wide receiver or will they make other positions a bigger priority, like offensive line? So say Michael Pittman's gone, then you start figuring out what else is left. And, you know, an interesting name, which almost happened this year, was Odell Beckham Jr., where he got the one-year $15 million of the Ravens, grossly overpaid. Now, would you consider him this year if he took like seven or eight million, where he's kind of like a stop, he's, he's a very good, what, consider him like a three, maybe a two. He's an upgrade over anybody the Jets have after Garrett Wilson. If he takes seven or eight, you consider it. I think he's a little bit older. Is he 31 years old, I believe, or whatever he is? Yeah, he's 31 years old. So maybe that's a guy. Or a player the Jets are really high on, that, according to all the reports, is Calvin Ridley. So prior to his suspension, the Jets, according, I think it was to Connor Hughes, we're saying the Jets were highly interested in him. He had, you know, coming off suspension, he had a, a decent year this year. I kind of expect a little bit more, but you got to figure, you know, just learning to speed the game again, rust, learning a new city, new offense, new quarterback. There's going to be some growing pains. And if the, if the, the Jaguars don't keep him, it'll be kind of interesting, but that could be a guy where the Jets are aggressive with. But after that, you're, you know, it's just like you have so many teams looking for the same thing. They all want playmakers, and you look at, you know, winning, continuity, quarterback, the Jets may come a little short. So then you say, okay, what about the trade market? You know, there's been a lot of receivers over the years that catch us all by surprise getting traded, which we have Tyreek Hill, A.J. Brown, Steph Diggs, I think Hopkins, like all these names come out of nowhere. You're like, wow, maybe maybe the Jets have to go this route where they, they won't win a bidding war. So maybe they have to go the route of trade. And the one guy I like a lot is Cortland Sutton with the Broncos. Last year, there's a lot of rumors about him and Judy. One of those guys had to go. If he somehow hits the market, man, he, well, not the market, but the, the trade market, um, well, his market, trade market. If he's on, if he's somewhat available, definitely be interested. You're not sure if Sean Payton would consider that. A guy like Keenan Allen, I know Ian mentioned that on a show we just did, but there's kind of players like that. You kind of go big game hunting. Maybe, you know, Washington's in a full rebuild. Maybe you could pry him McLaurin away. And I know some of it's like, oh, bro, you're out of your mind, but literally everything catches us by surprise. And the Jets are desperate. Maybe they, they go that route if they can't get the guy, they, their top free agents guys on their list. Now, another option, which if you're looking for upgrading your 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 um your offense but maximizing your resources, now stick with me here, the Jets could go a different route. And say you go, instead of chasing the Higgins and Pittman and guys like that, they go after Tyler Boyd. Tyler Boyd's a little bit older. I think he's 31 years old. You get him at third, you know, you sign him as your free agent option. And in the third round of the draft, you draft a guy. Now, the other thing, which you'd be like, hey, you know what? Maybe if things work out, maybe you can get Corey Davis back as well. But even if not, to say, would you feel comfortable with Garrett Wilson, Tyler Boyd, your draft pick, Lazard, Jason Brownlee, and, the, and these guys that say go from there? Your, your offense is better, and then you have a little more flexibility. And I think it could work, assuming that Aaron Rodgers plays at a high level. And so I'm kind of keeping it realistic here where it's like maybe that's an option um, at this point, before free before free agency starts, you can't you can't say what you're going to do in the draft. But I think all signs point to the Jets going offensive lineman in the draft in the first round. So maybe that's where your third round guy comes from. So let me know what you guys think. The wide receiver group is going to be really really interesting to see how they handle this because you got to figure it out, man. Because you can't have like you just watched 
all these teams in the playoffs stepping up, all these guys. You know, the 49ers have, you know, you have Debo and Ayuk, you have all the, and they have Kittle too. But you got to have enough playmakers where if one guy goes down, you don't want to be a Garrett Wilson injured way from just completely struggling and, and stuck in mud. So, uh, again, give me your plan. I'll talk to you guys later.